Hey guys, so I'm back with a new video and as you can tell, or at least I hope you can tell, that the video quality in this video is a lot better than, than my last video and that's because I got a new camera yesterday and it's a point and shoot and so that means that I will be able to take pictures and um, take video and that's really good because in my last video I talked about how I wasn't able to take pictures of my hair journey so far because I didn't have a good quality camera and now I do so now I'll be able to take pictures of my journey so now I can be able to tell how long my hair has grown from month to month so in this video I wanted to talk about my hair journey so far so my first seven months and in this video I've made a list so I won't mess myself up like I did in my last video. I don't know if you could have could tell, but it was really um, choppy and really edited because I just couldn't remember what I needed to say and I kept messing up and I just had to edit it so much that it just kind of looked weird and it was really choppy. But hopefully in this video I won't have to do that. So let's get this started. So my hair type. I know there's like a system of categorizing different hair types and I know it goes like 3A, 3B, 4B, 4C and stuff but I'm not sure I technically fit into any of those categories mostly because my hair is really different all over my head like that when my hair grows out from my roots like mostly close up in here it's really like my mom's hair and my mom is black and she has um really like coarse thick hair and then as my hair grows out, it kind of turns into my dad's hair. And my dad is Creole, which is still black, but it's just like a mixture of other um, stuff. <laughs> and so his hair is really fine and wavy. So once my hair grows out to a certain point, it, like, it turns into my dad's hair and gets really wavy. And then my hair is wavy in some sections and then has like curls in other sections. So my hair is really weird. So I don't know if I technically have a type. So... Um, yeah that's my hair type i guess <laughs> and um all right so uh, my next thing is my journey so far so i started my journey in march of this year so that's about seven months ago and this all started from my stepmom who wanted me to take pictures pictures of her hair and i was like why am i taking pictures of your hair and she told me about her friend who the last time she saw her had really short hair like really short like this short and then she saw her again and she had hair down to like her shoulders and even like past her shoulders and she asked her what did she do and she told her about you know she's going on this hair journey and all these like videos and websites that she's been on and she's learned so much and stuff and I was like well you know how I want to get started how do I do a hair journey and so she sent me the email that her friend sent her and I started reading everything and I watched all these videos and I just I just found it so amazing that there was actually black women out there growing like long hair because my whole life I thought that you know like most people like me thought that black hair just like didn't really grow it's like it got to a certain point but then after that it just wouldn't go anywhere um, and my hair has only ever been about this long maybe I have a picture here and um, I don't know if you'll be able to see but hopefully there's no glare but this is the longest my hair has ever been and this is in 8th grade? I think this is 8th grade and soon after that my hair started breaking off so my hair has never really been anywhere past my collarbones and so once I saw this I was just amazed like there's people out there, there that are doing this and even people who have relaxed hair like I don't have relaxed hair my hair is natural but for people who have relaxed hair and had hair like down to their bra straps, I just, I couldn't believe it. So I started my hair journey in March and of course like most people who start their hair journeys, I bought all kind of stuff and had so many products and because I'm a little bit of a product junkie. So I had all these products and I started my hair journey and within the first few months, maybe like three or four months, I noticed that uh, when I would go to put my hair in ponytails because for the first few months of my journey, I put my hair into like two ponytails or I had them in like buns because I, I'm not really a stylist. I don't know how to style my hair. I'm not very good at it. Even like twist outs and braid outs, I still haven't gotten the hang of that. But um, yeah, I used to put my hair in ponytails or buns and I noticed when I would go to grab my hair, it felt like I had more hair. So. Within the first few months, I already noticed that my hair was getting healthier. And then after that, 
Um, sorry if you can hear anything in the background. I'm watching Princess and the Frog and I thought I turned it down um, enough, but apparently not because they sing and dig a little deeper and they know they're going to church right now. <laughs> so sorry if you hear it in the background. But anyway, after that, um, I started noticing that my hair was breaking off a lot less. I had barely any breakage and the shedding was just almost gone. Like when I would wash my hair in the shower and I used to get clumps of hair in my hands, I would barely get anything, maybe like one or two strands. So definitely within these first like seven months or so, I definitely noticed that my hair has gotten a lot, lot healthier. Uh, it feels thicker, it doesn't break, it doesn't shed, it just does the regular kind of amount of shedding because your hair is naturally supposed to shed about a uh, hundred pairs or so a day. So my hair just does that natural shedding now and I don't have to constantly sweep my floor because there's hair everywhere. So I'm very happy about that. So the last thing is my hair goal. I have a few different goals for my hair, but the first one to achieve is bra strap length. And I want to get to bra strap length by my 21st birthday. And I just turned 20 last month, so that basically gives me about a year to get to bra strap length. And I think that's a pretty good um, goal. It doesn't seem outrageous to me. I've seen plenty of people get to bra strap length in a couple of months. So to give myself a whole year to get there, I think is a pretty good um estimation of growth time <laughs> so yeah and then my main goal is to get to lower back length like you know where your like your butt meets your back I want to get to that length hopefully by my 22nd birthday so uh, two years to make it to lower back length I think that's pretty good I don't think that's a very outrageous you know time period to do that in Okay guys, so that's it. That's my hair journey so far, my first uh, seven months. So I hope you guys like the video and I hope you guys will subscribe and follow along with me on this hair journey. And if you have any comments or questions, just put them down in the, the thingamajiggy. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like the video and I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.